Hey, this is Jen with Perpetual Odyssey, and I'm not sure if you can hear me because I have a new case on my phone, but what I'm trying to demonstrate and show you in this video is that little speck of a person out there is Casey, and he is fishing. So I'm just going to take a quick little pan around. And this place is right down the street from our house. So it is a little inlet, and there's our van dogs are in the van. It's really breezy right now because we're going to get a tropical storm. And the point of this video is that I know we haven't been doing a lot of adventuring and going on travels and stuff like that. Um, one, we're working a lot right now, so make hay while there's sun. There's lots of work to be had, so we're taking advantage of that and kind of staying put for the time being. And two, um, it's really hot out, so it's August in the middle of uh, Florida. It's really hot. So we can't really take the van anywhere and go on trips because of the dogs. And our one dog is terrified of the thunder and lightning now. So we kind of just got to lay low for a little while. But we've been doing a lot of fishing. So that's been quite a little adventure we've been enjoying very much. All right. And to give this video a little perspective, here's a Google map of where we live at the Bickley RV Park. And you can see all the water around us. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and um, I'm going to show you where the cursor is. So this bridge right here, there's a park all along here where my cursor is, and there's other places to fish on the other side of the bridge over here, and these are great places that you can access. There's parking lots, there's docks, it's lit, there's restrooms. Now if we go down Gulf Boulevard a little bit, there's these residential neighborhoods, and if you head into these residential areas, there's also all of these little tiny parks. Some of them have docks, a lot of them have benches. They usually only have a spot for one or two parking places. But um, another place that we really like that we fished at is out here on Flamingo Drive. So I'm going to zoom in here. Both of these places have, um, again, a little place to park. And they're really quiet. These two parks actually close at 9 p.m. because it's residential. And then up the road right here, there's a park here on Island Drive. And I think that one is open until 11 p.m. And again, considering where its location is, it's really quiet. There's just a few people that pass by to go to their houses. But other than that, they're really cool spots to just cast your line in and have a relaxing evening. Bring a picnic dinner, watch the sunset. Um, no shade in those places, though. Now, if you're headed back down from that point further away from where we live, but still only about 9 or 10 minutes away, it's called John's Pass. So I'm going to go ahead and scoot on into the John's Pass area here with the cursor. And um, you can fish at John's Pass, of course, but that's really populated. So there's a lot of people around there, and Casey doesn't enjoy that as much. But if you go down this little road here, there's all these tiny little hidden gems. Um, I can't say the fishing is great. You only catch little things in here, but it's so peaceful. And um, there's all of these. Again, so here's a little public space. And you just pull up and walk on down there. And in between all these houses and residencies, there's little public spaces. There's another one right there. Now, this is actually um, a boat launch, and we've fished off the end of that dock there. And then this is our favorite little spot right here. So this is the place where we caught the eel and the crab. And it's just this private, shady little dock. There's a lot of bugs, but no big deal. You just bring your bug spray. And there's another little one right up here. And um, again, they're all really within like five or ten minutes of our house. And they're just really lovely places to go relax and get away. Every time we go fishing, there is always one of these birds hanging around us. And there's a good reason why. On more than one occasion, they have stolen Casey's fish. Okay, there goes Casey's first catch of tonight's fishing trip. Our bird totally stole it from us. It's halfway down his mouth. I can't get a better view. Oh my gosh. Yep. There goes our first snapper for the night. Mangrove snapper. Can he actually get it down his throat? Unfortunately, I picked up my good camera, which I have with me. It has no batteries in it. He can't possibly eat that, can he? Oh my gosh, he did. Wow. And some still shots of some birds, such as pelicans. And more pelicans.
and pelicans and seagulls and cormorants. Osprey. This cutie sweetie. And this sweetie cutie. And now some portraits and landscapes. portraits and nightscapes. Catches a stingray on purpose. Is that the same one? <laughs> yeah, it's the same fish. Show off his prettiness. He's gonna have two little holes in his mouth. And in a few seconds, you're going to see two silver fish with black stripes, and these are the sheep's head. This is what Casey is trying to catch us for dinner. And what is this thing? Is it alive? Is it a creature? Is it, I don't know, just a blob? There were more than one of them, so I don't think that it's just a blob. I think it might be something alive. Hold on, hold on. I can't really see it because it's swinging around. Um, okay, let's get it on the dock and hold out the light. Is it electric? Uh, don't let it touch me. Don't step on it. 
so hard. Oh, in relationship to him. We got it, but I don't want him to get your hand. No, I don't either. Yeah, get your hand out of this way. You good? Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, no. <laughs> got it? Yeah. Two, two brittle stars on the deck, on the dock. They're little, little brittles. Well, should they be inside the... I don't know where what they do should they do? be. I would assume they need to be in the water. I don't know how they got up here. And it turns out the dock master said that they come up on the ropes from the boats when you pull the ropes up out of the water. And check out this one. What a creature this one is. I can't believe we had to see things like this right in our backyard. And a couple of stills of some of the fish we get to catch, including flounders, creepy rockfish, sail cats, catfish, And more catfish. Okay. Come on, baby shark. Oh, gosh, don't get bit by the baby shark. Oh, hello, baby shark. Feel him. Feel how sandy he is. Oh. Go back. Oh, I don't want to hurt Come him. On. Ready? All right, okay. I'll put him back. Bye, baby shark. Casey caught a shark. <laughs> and a little slideshow of the sun. And a few of the moon. And a few of the beautiful storm clouds and lightning. Get the towel ready. Get the towel ready. <laughs>